Welcome to Dixie Regional Medical Center's MRI zone, where patients can now be screened and even operated on within adjoining rooms. It's the first intraoperative MRI surgical unit for Intermountain Healthcare, located inside Intermountain's Diagnostic and Treatment Center of the hospital in St. George. This latest setup for diagnostics at DRMC allows patients with brain tumors to undergo surgery and return for a checkup to make sure it's all taken care of. And then when the tumor is removed, we open the doors there and we have another table that goes and connects to that table and the patient is all intubated and everything. We slide them across on the, on the um, our table and we move them into here and we scan and make sure that all the tumor has been removed. If it's not removed, they go back and do it again. This superconductive strong magnet can also be used for any patients needing diagnostics. They can even watch TV or hang out in their favorite color listening to music while the tests are being conducted. It's the same MRI as, you, as we have downstairs. Other than this is not strong, that's a three Tesla magnet. This is a 1.5 Tesla magnet. And so it's the same magnet, it's just the setup differently next to the OR. Just down the hall, doctors are also using the latest in technology. Cardiac patients needing valve replacements can now undergo non-invasive surgeries in this hybrid angiography suite using the latest techniques in heart transcatheters. So we replace your aortic valve using going through your groin through a catheter-based um, model. And having the imaging equipment there allows us to visualize exactly where we're going and where the stent's going up in to be able to open up and put that new um, valve in. And so having this a hybrid room allows us to be able to do that a lot easier because it's got this high-tech uh, imaging equipment that provides that service. Since last May, cardiovascular surgeons have already performed over 100 cases. This new suite will also soon be used for those patients needing mitral valve replacements using the same technique, and they could receive newly designed bovine heart valves. There is. There's a mitral clip, and there is also a mitral valve replacement, and they're doing that currently up in Salt Lake at Intermountain Medical and our physicians are in the process of getting trained right now to be able to meet that requirement. So it'll be very shortly we'll be able to also start doing the mitral valve here at Dixie. Because these valves are so new, Evans said the only thing they don't know is just how long they will last. You know, a typical open heart valve you can usually get 10 to 15 years out of. So, you know, in my mind, if you're doing a TAVR valve and you maybe only get five or six years, well, it beats the heck out of doing that every five or six years instead of having to have your chest cut open. Another expansion to the hospital's east tower has allowed for a new wound care center. Inside this wing you'll find a new hyperbaric chamber that opened its doors in June. Since that time the hospital has received many requests by patients wanting to sit inside this pressurized oxygen tank. Since 2005 we have done 18,218 patient treatments and not with this particular chamber, but at 400 East Campus, we started there in 2005. Kevin said this chamber is 100% oxygen. Only those approved through the FDA for treatment and by their doctors can take comfort inside for several hours and breathe in their treatments. It's said to treat from the inside out, delivering straight to the plasma of the blood. This is where we would take and have the patient for two hours breathe 100% oxygen which ends up being 1,800 times more oxygen per breath than you're getting right now because we're breathing on Earth 80% nitrogen, 20% oxygen. Noted for treating those affected by scuba diving, Dye said this chamber has also become effective for diabetes patients, those who suffer from post-radiation, carbon monoxide poisoning, retinal eye occlusions, and even acute hearing loss. And so the education of the new uh, doctors that are coming out of school realize that this is a benefit for those indications. So, but there really are minimal indications for hyperbarics uh, per FDA. And finally, patients who need to get back on their feet again after a stroke or neurological disorder receive rehabilitation through Dixie Regional's newest rehab garden. Here on the Neuro Rehab Unit, we see a variety of patients. Our main diagnosis is stroke. We see brain injuries, trauma, spinal cord injuries, uh, and we treat those patients and bring them back to using functional skills so that when they go home, they're able to navigate themselves. 
This garden has a variety of surfaces and walkways to allow those patients to learn how to rebuild their steps, among other skills for living. These buildings connect to the center of the hospital and can be accessed through a peaceful outside walkway. In the final part of the tour, we'll take a sneak peek at the new and revolutionary Intermountain Cancer Center. Inside Dixie Regional Medical Center, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.